Hey there, camera enthusiasts. Welcome back to channel, the go-to spot for all things photography. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of budget-friendly cameras that won't break the bank but still deliver stunning results. Whether you're a budding photographer, content creator, or just someone looking to upgrade their gear, we've got you covered. Stick around as we unveil the best budget cameras of 2024. Number 5. Panasonic LUMX ZS80 The Panasonic LUMX ZS80, like the Panasonic LUMX FC80, has an integrated zoom lens. However, it has a smaller physical factor, making it a better choice for travel or casual street photography. It's one of the best budget point-and-shoot cameras we've tested, with a plethora of features and respectable performance for the price. The lens has a 24-720mm equivalent focal length, which isn't as much as the FC80s, but it's still long enough to zoom in on distant things. The image quality isn't spectacular, but this camera is adequate for taking casual shots of friends and family. It also has a flip-up screen, making it simple to capture selfies. You even get a tiny viewfinder for those bright days when seeing the screen is difficult. It's a good compact camera at a reasonable price. The Panasonic LUMX DZS80 is a small point-and-shoot camera with a portable design that is easy to carry around with you. It boasts a compact hand grip, a flip-out screen, and a wide zoom range. It should suffice for casual photographers on the run who want a simple compact with a lot of zoom without breaking the bank despite the restrictions of its small sensor. For trip photography, the Panasonic LUMX DZS80 is adequate. Number 4 Canon EOS RP the EOS RP has a full-frame CMOS sensor with a resolution of 26.2 megapixels, enabling for high-quality image capturing with great low-light performance. One of its distinguishing features is its compact and lightweight construction, which makes it an appealing alternative for photographers who value portability without sacrificing image quality. The EOS RP employs Canon's RF lens mount system, which allows it to be used with a growing number of high-quality RF lenses, expanding users' creative options, the camera has Canon's Dual Pixel CMOS AF technology, which provides fast and accurate autofocus for both stills and video. The camera has a very angled touchscreen LCD that allows users to create images from various angles and easily browse through settings. While it does capture 4K video, it's worth mentioning that it has a crop factor, which may be an issue for videographers searching for wide-angle images. Built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities allow for smooth image sharing and remote control functionality, via the Canon Camera Connect app. The EOS RP has an electronic viewfinder, which allows photographers to create photographs with a high-resolution view of the scene even in harsh sunshine. The camera features Canon's DIGI C8 image processor, which contributes to rapid performance, improved image quality, and low power consumption. The EOS RP has a wide ISO range and exceptional low-light performance. This versatility enables users to capture detailed photographs in a variety of lighting circumstances. The camera has creative shooting modes such as Creative Assist that allow users to simply modify settings and get the desired style for their images. The LPE17 battery has a good battery life, allowing users to shoot for long periods of time before needing to recharge. The EOS RP is adapter compatible with Canon's vast line of EF and EFS lenses, providing customers with a diverse selection of lens options. The camera has a time-lapse movie capability that allows users to produce visually appealing time-lapse movies right in the camera. Despite its lower price, the EOS RP retains a good build quality and a comfortable grip, making it suitable for photographers of varied levels of experience. Number 3. Nikon D3500 The Nikon D3500 is the finest affordable camera for photography beginners if you've never used a camera before. This inexpensive DSLR stands out because to its unique guide mode, which leads you through the fundamentals of photography so you can learn as you go, making it a great camera for beginners just starting out. It's a stripped-down camera similar to the Canon EOS Rebel T7 slash EOS 2000D, yet it still boasts a high-resolution APS-C sensor that outperforms its class. Aside from that, it's compact and lightweight for a DSLR and has a long battery life, so you can shoot all day without worrying about running out of charge in the midst of the day. You can also upgrade to a wider range of suitable lenses as your skills grow. Because the D3500 has been discontinued, you may need to settle for a second-hand model. The Nikon D3500 is an adequate travel camera. Its sensor delivers outstanding image quality and a wide dynamic range for an entry-level APS-C camera. The battery life is also excellent, allowing it to easily endure through lengthy days on the go. It's also one of the most portable DSLRs on the market. However, it remains quite hefty in comparison to mirrorless competitors and the autofocus technology is fairly basic, with focusing limited to the center of the frame and inaccurate tracking for quick targets. 
the Macon V3500 performs admirably in landscape photography. It performs reasonably well for an APS-C camera with adequate dynamic range to capture more highlight and shadow information. Its noise performance is also acceptable, allowing you to photograph in difficult lighting conditions without introducing too much noise. It's also very portable for a DSLR and very comfortable to shoot with. The camera is not particularly durable with a cheap-feeling plastic construction. It also has a fixed screen, making low-angle photos more difficult. For sports and wildlife photography, the Nikon D3500 is adequate. Because of its slow maximum continuous shooting speed, it is difficult to get clear photos of fast-moving subjects. Its autofocus technology is likewise fairly primitive, with focus points limited to a center cluster, making it unable to track subjects to the frame's corners. It may also be difficult to keep up with subjects that are faster or more irregular. On the plus side, the image quality is excellent, and the camera has an excellent battery life. Number 2 Fujifilm X-T200 In general, the X-T200 was noted for its affordable and high-quality design. It had a 24.2 MP APS-C sensor, a high-resolution electronic viewfinder, a fully articulating touchscreen, 4K video capture, and the sleek vintage design that Fujifilm's X-Series cameras are known for. Its lightweight design and simple interface made ideal for both novices and aficionados interested in photography or filmmaking. The Fujifilm X-T200 is a mirrorless camera and noted for striking a solid balance between performance and price. Here are some major elements that could help it stand out among inexpensive cameras. The APS-C sensor of the X-T200 is typically larger than sensors in many other inexpensive cameras. This improves image quality, especially in low-light situations. The X-T200 and other Fujifilm cameras are noted for their retro-inspired designs. The X-T200 is frequently lightweight and tiny, making it a handy solution for people looking to capture high-quality photographs while on the road. The X-T200 is typically fitted with a very angle touchscreen, which allows for adjustable framing and simple menu navigation. The X-T200 is no exception to Fujifilm's use of sophisticated autofocus technology. It has a quick and accurate autofocus system, making it ideal for photographing moving subjects. The X-T200 typically has good video recording capabilities, including 4K footage at 30 frames per second. This makes it useful for people who want to do both photography and videography. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity are frequently included in modern cameras for easy sharing and remote operation. These capabilities are often found on the X-T200, allowing users to transmit photographs wirelessly and control the camera via a mobile device. One of the X-T200's distinguishing advantages is its low price in comparison to other mirrorless cameras with comparable specifications. The X-T200 usually has a high-resolution sensor with roughly 24 megapixels. This enables detailed and sharp photos. Fujifilm is well known for its film simulation modes, which simulate the appearance of vintage film stocks. The X-T200 frequently contains a variety of film emulation settings, allowing photographers to achieve a variety of artistic trends in their photographs. While the X-T200 is primarily built with a rear LCD screen, some users prefer having an electronic viewfinder EVF, for more precise composition. The inclusion of an EVF in this camera can be a useful feature. The camera often has a good burst shooting speed that allows users to snap a series of photographs in rapid succession. This is useful for capturing fast-paced action or not missing a vital moment. The X-T200 has enhanced face and eye detection autofocus, which improves the precision of focusing on human beings. This is very helpful for portrait photography. Number 1. Canon EOS R50 Canon's EOS R series is well known for its mirrorless technology, which allows for a more compact and lightweight construction than typical DSLRs. Expect a good-sized sensor, most likely full-frame or APS-C, with good image quality. The megapixel count is modest, yet enough for most people. Canon's newest products have had sophisticated autofocus technology. The EOS R50 may have dual-pixel autofocus for fast and accurate focusing, which is very handy for photo and video shooting. Canon's EOS R cameras are frequently capable of producing high-quality video. The EOS R50 may offer 4K video recording, enabling high-quality video for videography enthusiasts. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity are standard features in current cameras, enabling for easy image sharing and remote camera operation via smartphone apps. Canon has commonly implemented very angle touchscreens in their cameras, increasing versatility for composing images from various perspectives and facilitating menu navigation. While entry-level models may lack IBS, it's a function that can be quite useful for photographers, especially in low-light situations or while shooting at slower shutter speeds. 
Consider looking for user reviews, sample photographs, and comparisons with other models in the same price range when researching the Canon EOS R50 or any budget camera in 2024. Consider image quality, focusing performance, video capabilities, and any unique features that set apart from other cameras in its class. Geyser concludes our top 5 best budget cameras of 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.